from the Redeemed Christian Church of God New Covenant Parish in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens Review for November 6th, 2021. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. We pray that the devotional of today, even as we review and we study it, shall bless us all richly. We shall do it and we shall see the evidences and testimonies as we apply this word in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. The title of today is Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi. Psalm 27 verse 1 is the, is the memory verse. Psalm 27 verse 1 is the memory verse which reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? No one. Because so long Jesus and our uh, Jehovah Almighty God is our Jehovah and this is our banner. We should have fear of no one except the Lord Almighty. And 1 Samuel 17, 45 to 50 is the Bible reading. 1 Samuel 17, 45 to 50. And it reads, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the beds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. So it was, when the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hurried and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine, then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead so that the stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone and struck the Philistine and killed him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Amen. Jehovah Nisi. We can see David was victorious over Goliath because Jehovah Nisi was backing him up. And in the devotion of today, our daddy law starts with this saying that we have an enemy, the devil. Who is more dangerous than the likes of Goliath, which we just read about? However, even though we have a dangerous enemy, there is good news for you and I. And what is the good news? The good news is that we also, even though the enemy, the devil is dangerous, even more dangerous than Goliath that we read about, we have a Jehovah Nisi. And what does Jehovah Nisi mean? The Lord our banner. And what will he do against this enemy? He will always give his children victory. And, and so we need to take note of that point. He will always, this Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner, we have the guarantee of victory for his children. And this devil that we talk about is a roaring lion, just like even the Goliath was also roaring 
and just saying so many things to intimidate the people of Israel. He was roaring against them. And even they trembled before him. But thank God for, for David. And they were able to overcome through David. God's anointed. And what happened? Even when Goliath was given all his roarings and intimidations. Because David knew that God Almighty was on their side. He declared the almightiness of Jehovah Nissi. That is how he countered the roarings and the intimidations of Goliath. Even that is captured in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 46, which we have already read about. You know, he says, This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hands. He was, de and he was declaring his almightiness. And even the latter part of verse 46 says that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And indeed, this Giovanni C came through for David. And one of these we have to note, even when we look at the story of the story in Exodus chapter 17, verse 8 to 16, which was talking about the victory of the Israelites over the Amalekites. This story clearly shows us something. What does it show us? That the battles of life are beyond physical. The battles we are fighting in this life are beyond physical battles. Because if we look at that story of Israel and the Amalekites, we can see that so long Moses' arms was raised, and that even added something extra here that I want us to take note of. So long as Moses' hand was raised in prayers and worship to the Almighty God, you know, Israel prevailed. But when his hands were down, they were not prevailing. And what eventually had to happen was that Aaron and all had to help in lifting Moses' hand so that they could prevail in that battle. Now, if you really look at it carefully, how does the raising of the hand of one person translate to victory in a physical battle? It does not make any sense, you know, the fact that raising of hands will translate to um, um, winning a physical battle when some armies are fighting each other. But that just to further buttress the fact that the battles of this life are beyond physical. There was a spiritual dimension to the fact that as long as the, Moses' hands was raised, the Israelites were victorious in battle. So we also take it, we as believers, as God's children, should also take it from that perspective that these battles of this life, we need to take it to the Lord in prayer, in worship, just like he mentioned here, and not just think that the battles we are fighting are physical battles that we can win physically. And because of that, we can see that we need God as our banner. Because we have already said that these physical battles, these battles are beyond physical, He is the one that can help us to win these unseen battles, these battles of life. Because we are not we are wrestling against unseen forces. And because we are wrestling against unseen forces, what must we also do? As in as much as we have God as our Jehovah, Jehovah Nisi, we ourselves must put on the old armor of God so that we can win these battles because our physical weapons our senses cannot help us win these battles of life even you can see King Saul tried to introduce a physical weapon for David but he said no because he knew that Jehovah Nisi was going to fight for him he was going to win for him and it was not something that needed any physical um, intervention like King Saul was trying to do because he knew that the, David knew that the battle was for the, was the Lord. And that ordinary sling and a stone, there was a supernatural backing behind that sling and that stone that led to the defeat of Goliath. So that is encouraging us, that I encourage you to take hold of the name of the Lord as from today. And he has a prayer and you will subdue every giant that comes against you in Jesus name. Amen. So if you want to subdue the giants that will come against us, that are coming against us, let us take hold 
of the name of the Lord, this Giovanni said, let's take hold of that name, believe in that name, and it will work for us. But however, there's a condition. We must have a cordial and close relationship with Giovanni. C. If you want Giovanni C. to come through for you, if you want Giovanni C. to fight your battles for you, if you want to have victory to Giovanni C., then we must have a close and cordial relationship with that same Jehovah Nissi. And how do we do that? We submit to his lordship and we live a life of holiness. So do you want Jehovah Nissi to come through for us in all our battles? Let us submit to him. Let us live a life of holiness and he will definitely fight for us and we'll have victory. The prayer point is, Father, I come against all the giants strengthening my destiny and destroy them completely in Jesus' name. Father, Lord God Almighty, we come against all giants threatening our destinies. Father, and we destroy them completely today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the victory against all our giants, all the giants against us. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching. And we hope to see you tomorrow by God's grace.